Righto, Teleoto champs. Now today I have a laptop here that actually really surprised me. It's actually surprising what this thing is. Let's just think, this is sort of like a portable dream for a lot of people. This thing here can be a content creation laptop. It can be a normal business laptop. It can be a gaming laptop. It can be everything and it's super portable, super premium. And when I think of this thing here, it is a yoga it's not one of those flippy yogas where you can flip the screen around. It is a touch screen, by the way. Perfectly balanced, perfectly in the sweet spot there. We have a USB-C power connector, 140 watt brick there. So what makes this so special is this is thin, light and premium. It really isn't that bigger than a normal yoga or an X1 carbon, right? This thing is only like three and a half pounds heaviest one you can get, right? So that's like 1.5 kilos, just over 1.5 kilos. You can get lighter ones. The ones with the graphics card are the heavier ones. So this thing here is an option if you want to buy an XPS 15 or something like that, a MacBook Pro 14. This thing here is an option. Comes with the latest Intel processors, okay? This one has the 13700H part and an RTX 4050. Yeah. In this a little bit over three pounds portable package, all that power 140 watts. Okay, now I measured around 70 75 sort of watts total package CPU and GPU together. What does that mean? That means this is as powerful as an XPS 15. Okay, much lighter, much thinner, much more portable. I mean, it is a super thin. This is like an X1 carbon or a yoga. One of those 14 inch portable sort of, you know, ultra books. This is like that, but it's got a GPU in it. Just amazing. Touch display, as I've said before, 120 hertz. You can have it adaptive if you want. So it will have a variable refresh rate, or you can lock it at 120 hertz. And it is around 400 nits peak brightness. I measured about 420 nits. IPS, 100% P3. It is everything you want in a display. It would be great for content creation. It's good for gaming too because nice 120 hertz there. It wasn't particularly ghosty. So yeah, it actually really would be good for gaming. Glossy. And this one is a 2K display. They do have a 1600p one as well. So not as bright as this. This is the one to get with the touch. 120 hertz refresh rate with that adaptive sort of refresh. Yeah. This thing is amazing. Now the keyboard is out of this world. Man, Lenovo know how to make a keyboard. Same with the trackpad, top class there. We have HDMI, we have Thunderbolts. Everything you'll get an X1 Carbon or a normal, you know, flippy yoga. Super premium, I mean, that is beautiful, this thing. Well made, tough. These things, I've got to tell you, look. Always, these things are amazing. How tough they are. Lenovo make a tough laptop that is durable, will, you know, last the distance there. With the battery life, I haven't done my full testing on this yet, but the battery life I was getting, I was getting about eight hours normal, you know, just playback video, web surfing and stuff like that. So eight hours is pretty good. I reckon you could stretch out a little bit more. We do have USB type A's as well. I mean, the sound's pretty decent for what it is. It's not gonna blow you away, but yeah, it's good enough. I have more testing to come on this thing, stay tuned. I mean, if I'm thinking I want an XPS 15 or say a MacBook Pro 14, this has a lot of advantages over the MacBook Pro 14 because it does have NVIDIA graphics. And if you need quick sync, although of course I can go through the Mac and get some advantages with the Mac, of course, as well. One of the best laptops out there without doubt. But this over the XPS 15, Man, it's hard to recommend the XPS 15 over this. I mean, the battery life is no better. It's heavier. I mean, it's got a slightly bigger screen, but, you know, the keyboard's better on this. Display, well, pick your poison there. But this is much lighter, the same power. I mean, you can get higher-end graphics on the XPS 15, but you're still hampered by how many watts it can pump out. And this one pumps out pretty much the same amount of wattage as the XPS 15. So watch out for this one. Stay tuned for my full review. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.